We're here at CAMA 2015 with Keith Robichaud, the CAO of Norfolk County in the province of Ontario. And Keith has just been sitting on a panel talking about the most uh, exemplary qualities of CAOs and what they bring to the job and how the process has changed over the years. Keith, you've had a diverse career in Ontario, in the Maritimes, in Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. You've done uh, service in the provincial government as well. What are the biggest changes that you've seen and how, how has it sort of affected you as a CAO in these diverse communities you've worked in? Well, I think uh, the profession is changing, uh, although I think uh, very much uh, important that we look at uh, succession planning and making sure that the next generation of CAOs are well prepared for the job, because it is different. Uh, certainly, I think uh, there's an expectation that people land in the job uh, ready. I, I was very fortunate to have uh, many mentors and uh, folks who really helped me as a new CAO of 24 years of age in my hometown of St. Andrews, New Brunswick, uh, helped me get started and uh, to learn uh, and build uh, out a council manager uh, form of government. I'm certainly still a very strong uh, advocate of the council manager form of government. I think uh, uh, Professor Siegel has hit it on the nose in terms of his book, The Importance uh, of Leading Up with Councils, uh, Leading Down with Staff, and Leading Out to the Communities. That. Uh, in fact, uh, the council manager form of government in rural and small town uh, is, is very much having to be in those three places uh, much of the time. And it's perhaps uh, more important. And uh, so I think uh, there's been a lot of change, but I think having a solid uh, set of uh, values, uh, promoting a strong uh, corporate culture, and uh, uh, certainly having a book like uh, Professor Siegel's that will help, um, I think, aspiring CAOs, uh, mid-career professionals uh, look at the qualities and the attributes that they need to uh, develop to become better leaders will be very important. Now, Keith, you said something really interesting that I made a note of when you were speaking earlier, was uh, when circumstances change, change your methods, not your values when you're managing. I thought that was a great line. I appreciate that. I, I do hold uh, very strongly uh, uh, I did have a chance to, uh, earlier in my career, um, be exposed to some research on well-performing government organizations and when I looked at the type of corporate culture and the values that were there, uh, certainly there were values around uh, good customer client service, uh, valuing employees, but uh, one of them was also in terms of uh, being adaptable and uh, creative in the face of change. and. Uh, you know, we do face uh, a variety of circumstances in municipal government. Uh, there's been a lot of change, but as you've mentioned, I think one of the things that's very important to me is that people see me as changing my methods, not my values. Mm -hmm. uh, so when the going gets tough, I hope uh, that they see that I'm actually uh, responding and acting and holding to the values that uh, I would have and hold to in good times. Now, Keith, everybody knows there's a big tsunami of uh, intergenerational change coming, and CAMA is all about supporting the growth of the next generation. What are your thoughts on the best way we can help uh, grow the next generation of municipal administrators? I think the, the, the most important thing uh, we can do is uh, give our time and invest uh, ourselves in the next generation, either uh, having them come up through our organizations and spending time with them, having formal mentorship programs, but also uh, giving them the opportunities to shine and setting them up for success uh, with projects and, and initiatives in our organizations. And uh, so I, I'm really excited. I think the, uh, the, few, the next generation uh, will carry on and uh, extend uh, the, the many accomplishments that uh, municipal CAOs as leaders have, uh, have already achieved in Canada. And uh, I'm excited about the future. Well, that's great. Thank you for your service uh, to uh, Norfolk and, and other communities and uh, to CAMA today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks.